We'll see. We'll see. Whoops. I have to go back to this. Then I have to go here and I'm going to spotlight that. And we're streaming. It says we're streaming. Okay, shut that woman up. Yay. Okay. I look at dahlias. I know. Is that why you're here? Because of the dahlias? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know we were doing dahlias? Yeah, I saw it on Facebook or something. Or something. Or something. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's just go with. Oh, I know. I'm probably up too high. That's fine. We'll just go with this and see how it works. So how is everybody doing? Good. Pretty good. And hello to Jean from North Dakota. Oh, Norma's there too. Yay. We got peeps happening. Jean says hi to everyone. Hi, Jean. It's it's nice of Mother Nature to cooperate and give us a nice wet stormy night so that we can all hang out together on Facebook. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. Is it raining over there? Oh yeah. Not it is. raining here. Oh. In it. God's country. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we came home early because it was supposed to supposed to be rainy over there. Okay, so before we get started, I want to share a little something. When we went north to Quinell, I met with Wendy, who's part of on my team, and she gave me this little bouquet that she creates. She does these little isn't that sweet it's got a little feather on it it's got some flowers and then these these flowers here she puts nail polish on them and they sparkle and then she, of course she oh. puts bling in the middle of them and are they very cute little, that used to hold a candle nope um yes i guess it did i never noticed that yeah yeah it's got got some of that oasis in it and then yeah. she's popped it with some um what's that stuff called moss <laughs> see it's mossing all over the place spanish moss there you go yeah so we have a hey marilyn we have some big car thing happening tonight holly what is it you know is it part of thunder in the valley that isn't thundering in the valley they're, yes, it is from Thunder in the Valley. They're doing a charity um, drive by or whatever, and half the, or I shouldn't say half, part of the proceeds are going to the hospital um, emergency oh. room thing, and the other half is going to the um, Indigenous um, Truth and Reconciliation. Oh. Oh, interesting. All I can hear is this thunder. They must be down on River Road because holy macaroni, it's been going on for like an hour. <laughs> well, that's good. Sounds like they've got really good turnout then. Yep. And Marilyn says hi from Saskatchewan, away over there in the other part of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not that far away. So it was so cold today. We'll come off of it. <laughs> I had winter clothes on all day and socks and sh shoes and well, my slippers. Jean says it's wet and stormy. What's that? Something that's missing here in North Dakota. All we're getting is smoke from Canada. Yeah. Our province of British Columbia is burning we have so many fires and so many people have been evacuated it really is a sad situation right now it is it is it is and the latest one that was evacuated yesterday some people are protesting the evacuation and refuse to go 
then they had to be rescued, which took firefighters away from the, the fighting the fire to rescue these idiots who decide that they're better than anybody else and they don't need to evacuate. We'll be fine. Yeah. Then their house burns down. Yeah. So, Jean, I'm sorry that you have smoke. I wish I could make it go away. It's from California. <laughs> <laughs> The other C word. <laughs> oh, Marilyn says she's 28 to 34, dry as can be. Yeah, well, this is the first rain we've had since, good Lord, May, maybe. It's I been very dry. Yeah. It's been very, it's been very a long dry. time. So we just got back from four days at our cabin in Powell River on Powell Lake and I they took the grandchildren up there with us and holy macaroni did we have fun but then they were predicting rain and I was not spending another day or two stuck inside the cabin with grandchildren who did not have any um, technical devices with them <laughs> that's when you play board games oh we did and I actually found out that both of them know how to read. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, delicate dahlias is one of the celebrations. You can get it's a sixty dollar. So this is the celebration brochure, and it is in here somewhere. I, I don't remember where. Don't you have to get like one hundred and twenty dollars worth of? Yeah, it's a 120. Oh, yeah. is it? Yeah. Okay, it's a 120. I'm sorry. It's a 120, but it's like a double stamp set. So that's oh, why it's okay. so much. Yeah. So you get the outline and then you get the distinctive filler inner part. Oh, yeah. And this you can use by itself. So let me find it. So I was. I was watching my friend Sue the other night. She was creating with it. And so then I took her card and changed it up a bit. And this is what I came up with. Mm, so it uses the filler inner ones and not the outline ones. It's very pretty. Oh, people here are having breathing issues too, Jean. It is really tough. Okay, so there's the samples that they have in here. And you know, it's Friday night, so my hands are supposed to do what your mouth tells them to do. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what happens tonight. Oh. Because you're not very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not. <laughs> <laughs> Too true. <laughs> well, I just want to do what I want to do, not what you want to do. I just remembered that I didn't get any blocks. So let me grab some blocks. Okay. Are these blocks going to be big enough or do I need the bigger blocks? I think it might be. So first of all, we need to figure out a color combination. Oh, it'll be. I'll make it work. I was talking to Heather during dinner tonight and she suggested purples. The new, hey, that's not gonna work. The new purple. Purple posy, posy or something. Fresh freesia. Oh, fresh freesia. Purple posy was last year. Get with the program, Betty. I know. Come on, Betty. <laughs> Have you been sleeping or what here? <laughs> or yellow. I've been idle. You've been idle. I've been idle. I've been making applesauce coming out yeah. of my ears. It. Okay. So Holly says maybe yellow. So I pulled out the new in colors. if we want to use some of the new in colors. 
Jean says fresh freesia. So that would be this color. Okay, that purple color. And then there's pale papaya, which is not quite yellow. It's papaya. Pale Jean also says fresh freesia. And oh, I said that polished pink. <laughs> That's a bright color. Ooh. Okay. So am I doing purple? Will pale papaya do holly instead of yellow? Or do you want me to get yellow? No, that would be great. It's in the yellow tones. Okay. So which one? Purple or yellow? I mean papaya. Oh. Purple. Purple. Norma says purple. Jean says pink. <laughs> Jean is still pushing for pink. <laughs> and Holly wants yellow. <laughs> Holly wants yellow. But it sounds like purple wins. We always do stuff in purple. Let's do something in yellow. Let's Can you use dark and light? Can I use dark and light what? Dark and light what? Pale Yellow. papaya? P -p -p papaya. You mean these? Yeah. Okay, Jean is just giving me a shoulder shrug now. <laughs> okay, pale papaya it is. Now, I also got out the beautifully penned designer paper, which is also part of celebration, and it's all black and white. Oh, wow. Well. So mm -hmm. I thought maybe, maybe we could offset the black or the color with black and white. Let me get a sheet of each one out. I mean, the background? Yeah, somehow use it in there. Yeah. So I there's. Like, I like the darker one. There's three sheets. You get four of each sheet. Okay. So here's the one side. This lighting is driving me crazy again tonight. Oh, hi, Shanna. Shanna says papaya. Okay. So we have this one. Is that all blocked here? Or is it just yep. the way the lighting? Oh, okay. No, Don't like it. Yet. It's got a a wash washy kind of background on it. Blotchy. Okay, blotchy. But it's <laughs> white with black. It's it not her on. eyes. It's the paper. <laughs> okay. And then there's this one. And it's got this on the back. And yes, that's blotchy too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this one. And it's got this on the back, which I'm not in thrilled with, but you brain. know. Shanna says polka dots. Anybody else? I like the dark flower one. It's on the top. That one? Yep. That we one put, or the polka dots for me. So we put this one away? Yeah, I think it's too light. Okay. So we'll keep these out. Let me put the other one away so I don't get too confused. That doesn't take a lot these days to confuse me. You don't get confused, do you? Oh, yeah. I do. Okay. So we have... Black and white, pale papaya, some markers, a good start. Going to get some we're bling. We're going to need some white, but apparently I need to cut some because I haven't got a big enough piece. So let's put that there. And I also brought out black just in case we wanted to do black. Now there is no dyes for this. So if you are wanting me to stamp and cut out, it's going to be fussy cutting. Just saying, not that I'm opposed to it, just that that's what it's going to be. 
so you'll have to sit here and watch me die cut or hand cut. You're doing it, not us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's make the card and then we'll figure out what bling we're going to do because, you know, I've got a wide variety of bling that we can, we can use. Okay. Um, so let me share a card. Now that you've chosen all that stuff, let me share a card that I found on Pinterest. And I just want to tell you that I had no input into this choosing of this stuff, right? So can you see that card? Yes. Weird that you guys cho chose that. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's- well, we didn't pick the pa -pa papaya. <laughs> oh, where did that one come from? That's kind of cool. Hmm. No, but, and this, if you'll notice this card here has been stamped for three times and the different layers cut out. Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah. So that's, that's even more, um, Fussy cutting. Yes. So I like what we've got going here. Are we going to want a what's this pale papaya card base? And maybe some black. with some polka dots. Let's get this one out of the way. Oops, put it down here so you guys can, can see. So there's that. Or there's that. I like that one. Or there's that. Can't see the, the white, white. behind there. What about using the black as the card base and sandwiching the papaya in between? Okay. I've just got to get back here so I can. Come on. There it is. Jean says, see, it's my pink. <laughs> that card was the pink. I just have to get the Facebook up so I can read the comments. There we go. Okay, I got her now. So you want black card base. The yellow. Pale papaya in the middle. And then that one. So there's that combination. Hmm. Or that combination. I like the polka dots better. Yeah. But, but either way. Um, okay. So where are you stamping the flower on? We're having a vote first. Okay. Flowers or dots? Dots. 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 Polka dots. Wow. Well, we gotta... Shannon. <laughs> you got to vote. You, we've got three for polka dots and none for flowers. So goodbye, flowers. Goodbye. Oh, four for dots. Okay. Are we doing layout number one, black card base layered with pale papaya with the polka dots? That's number one. Or... 
Number two, just switch those colors around. So there's option two. There's option one. I like two. One for two. I like one. One for one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's going to vote three? Who's going to vote number one again? Okay, Facebook. Shanna says two. Jean says two. Norma says two. Okay. I think two wins. I think two wins, which was this, right? Yes. I don't remember. No, no, no. Two was the polka the yellow dot black. Yeah. This way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. Okay. It's that this way. way. Okay. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut the card base. One card base. Folded and scored. Okay, one layer. Hey, card base, and I'm just going to put some temporary adhesive on this so that it sits and stays and I don't have to worry about it flopping everywhere. There we go. Layer. Yay, the card's done. <laughs> now, there's a thin and there's a thick. The thick one. Betty, you always choose thick. I don't like those thin ones. So, vote thin or thick. And while you're voting, I'm going to cut them. Okay. Thick, thick. Ooh, we got lots of people choosing thick. Holy macaroni, Betty, you're winning tonight. Yeah. Okay. Holly, do you have an opinion? Thin. You're not even looking, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I like thin. And sorry, I was out of the room. That's why I hadn't. Oh. Uh... So there's oh, thin. you got it cut. Miles will just leave it thin. No, I can make it thick. And there's what thick would look like. It's almost thin. Almost thin, but it's not thin. Shannon, thick or thin? I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. The card's coming from us. We got to pay attention. <laughs> um, voting on thin border uh -huh. or thick border thin thin okay thick 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 i'm sorry but thick is winning okay Put my adhesive on there so it doesn't wander on me. There we go. So there it is with the thick border. So what am I telling you about, Jean? My getaway? Which getaway? 
I haven't been home much this summer. Just saying. I'm flipping and flopping and bopping everywhere. We went camping and then we were home for two days and when, then we went to our cabin. And now I think I'm home for a week and a half, but I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, to the cabin. Oh, yes, to the cabin. We had so much fun and it was freaking hot at uh, 11 o'clock at night. We're trying to go to sleep at, and it's still 27 inside the cabin. <laughs> Because our cabin is completely off the grid, so there's no power at all. But the big thing this week, this time we were up there, is we actually got running hot water into the kitchen. Ooh, ooh. exciting! I don't have to boil it on the stove anymore. Yay! Where I have unlimited water supply because we're a float cabin, so we're on the lake. So we just draw water right out of the lake. Yes, we've had a, we've had running hot water to the shower for a couple of years, and now we have it to the sink. Huge accomplishment. Okay, so we got this now. Now what? Now what? Do you want me to find a die that we could stamp this on and die cut it out, or? Fish? No, 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 no. Do not fish. I don't like fish. Don't like the smell of fish. And it's trout in the lake. It's not good stuff. It's not salmon. <laughs> no. They went fishing when we were um, camping at China Creek, though. And they had a few salmon dinner until they decided to close the salmon fishing. Oh, oh no. That's OK. We were ready to come home anyways. Okay, so am I stamping this and fussy cutting or am I stamping and finding a die cut? Because one of the hippo die, the hippo and friends dies might just fit this. Well, we can try that. If it doesn't work, then you have to fussy cut. Oh, thanks. Betty. You're welcome. There's the hippo die. Okay, this paper's not big enough, but that's okay. Look. Perfect fit. So, how are we feeling about that? Because this is up to you guys. Fussy cut or die cut? Well, I guess well, do the die cut, and then if you don't like it, you can still fussy cut. You won't have such a big piece to work with. Then. That was my thought, too. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, three and three quarters, I'm, I'm cutting. And I will die cut a piece. I will, I will. Okay, there we are. It's cut. Put that over there, put this away so I don't lose it. Okay, do we want, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I was gonna say, do we want the that up or do we want that up? But it doesn't matter because guess what? The flower's round. That's right. Okay, so now the question is, do we want, do you want me to do the distinctive colored version? or the line version that I have to color with the Stampin' Blend? Distinctive. Yeah. Let's work for you. Do that one. This one? Yep. OK. 
Hey, Valerie, happy birthday to your hubby. Where'd you go for dinner? Okay, so I need to know, lined or distinctive? Distinctive. Distinctive. One, one two. Two disses. Two disses. Distinctive. Three, four. Okay, well, it's going to be distinctive then. And we're doing it in pale papaya. Papaya. Pale papaya. Okay, I'm going to, before I stamp this on here, I'm going to stamp it on here because with this stamp, if you have a juicy ink pad, you, can't, you don't get the detail. So I just need to know if I, yeah. See how blotchy it is? I gotta show you a trick. What you eating, Holly? Celery? chocolate <laughs> so take a spoon any kind of spoon and just massage the ink down into your ink pad oh like that and now of course i have to clean this because now it's got all that a lot of ink on there okay but now it's been massaged in so it won't get as juicy. So now when I stamp it, I'm just going to play with this a bit to see where I want it. There we are. Oh, Valerie went to the laughing oyster. Isn't that out in out in Oakover? Uh -huh. Yep. Ooh, lucky hubby. She says, hi, Betty. Hi, Val. See oh. the difference? Can you see oh, the difference yeah. between the blotchy? This is blotchy. This is not, except for up here where I didn't get it massaged in quite enough. So that'll be the bottom and we'll put the sentiment over there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. We ate out there once many, 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 many moons ago. Hang on. Okay. With this dye, Glenda, can't you use the um, uh, the outline of it first and then you stamp it with the distinctive part? Yes, you can. Oh, okay. Absolutely, you can. It takes a little bit of finagling, but let's try it. David Bowes is still the chef. Wow. He must be like... 400 years old by now. Nah, he's just over 60. <laughs> he's old. He's old. It was yesterday. It was Gerald's birthday. What was it? Yep. Did you take him to the Laughing Oyster? No. We didn't <laughs> go out for dinner. It was too hot. Ah. Oh, God. It was when we were waiting in the ferry lineup yesterday. Holy crap. It was hot. Mm hmm. And the ferry overloaded. We got the five o'clock and the ferry overloaded the three quarters of the parking lot for the 8.45. So you can, you use that and then, yeah, oops, that's not what I want. I want the ink, you ink it up and then you have to figure out where it goes. So somebody's got um, something happening in the background. Some kind of noise, somebody's talking. 
Gerald, get out of the kitchen if you're going to talk to Tim. <laughs> Poor Gerald. I know. Leave your house, Gerald. I'm trying to figure out where this. He was 75 yesterday. Wow. So I gave him 75 whips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking that one. I can't see because I did the light one first. Which I just don't ever do so i don't know whether this is right or not so i'm just doing i'm going it. i'm going for it if it's not right it's not right you can line it up oh not bad look at that oh wow that's good not bad for a quick so i think that looks much better especially with the lighter color okay so I can do it over top of this one. Do you want me to do it over top of the one we're going to use? Sure. I would, yeah. OK. Inky, inky, inky. Now, let me see if I can figure out where it goes. Mm. Oy vey. Maybe that right there. Oh, don't drop it. <laughs> okay, I'm going for it. If it's wrong, then we'll just redo it. Oh, I need my, I need my brush. Here. It's not just for the stamparatus. There we go. What are you using that brush for? Oh, that looks very nice. I just used it. Okay, who had my. Whoever has that, can you mute yourself, please? Grandma, I played baseball today. Oh, that's great. What position did you play? Oh, that was Maria. I've muted you. Hello, Maria. So there we go. Now, let's take, let's take some Wink Estella and see what it will do with that ink. Oh, that's so pretty. How come I can't see where people are on Facebook? They're saying stuff. You have to be logged into Facebook and go to. Oh, okay. And watch I, was, I see feed. Black Maria. Black Maria. <laughs> 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 She's oh. incognito. <laughs> She's eating celery too. <laughs> okay, I added some Wink Estella on there to make it blingy. Of course, can't see it really. Can't see it. Okay, that light is ticking me off. It's fun. There we go. Now you get a good view of that flower. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Okay, so there we go. Now what? Mmm. Mmm. We have some flowers. Hello, Rosemary. You snuck in there. You do the um, some leaves. I have some leaves, and they they're two part leaves, just like the other one. Okay. I think I like the deal you cut around. You like the what? I like when you have to fussy cut around it. You want me to fussy cut this sucker? No. Really? I agree. Like I think it would, I don't like that big white border around the flower. It might look okay on a brighter colored flower, but it seems to, for me, it detracts from the yellow or the papaya. Okay. 
I just <laughs> happen to have the other one we stamped. So now you're going to have to, I don't know, sing a song or something. Uh, don't want everybody to shut down and leave, do you? <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't. So please don't sing. It's like I won't start to sing either. You can listen to the cows bawling. <laughs> B-A-W-L-I-N-G. Not the other kind of bawling. <laughs> Crying, mooing. I heard a little Maria giggle there. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. They're forcing me to fussy cut. Not very yeah. nice. See us twisting our arm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jean, you are being difficult. I <laughs> think so. Well, it just means that you guys are going to have to put up with the, the boringness of me fussy cutting because this is Really, you should make a die cut for this. Okay, that I'm sorry, but as far as I know, that's not going to happen because this is celebration and it's only two months. Mm. However, they do have dies for the sheep. <laughs> the sheep, that's sheep, are, sheep, the yeah. sheep are cute, but you have to buy them separate don't you yeah but that's okay because they would be the same amount anyways if they were bundled they'd be a 120 dollar order yeah this just means that you can get you can get the stamps in one order and then get the dies with another order you don't have to have the 120 dollar order all at once well, you know, it doesn't take long to get $120. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get only $120. Okay, I'm getting there. What do we eat? What do you want, Kitty? What do we eat when you are at the cabin? Well, let me fish. tell you. No fish. Potato chips. <laughs> Maria, don't tell all my secrets. <laughs> well, it's potato. It's part of a food group, isn't it? Sure. Mm -hmm. Starch. <laughs> the first night we were there we had hot dogs yeah we had our grandchildren with us so this uh, and i had a smoky because i don't do the bread part thing Oop. the second night we were there we had chicken sausages chicken and sausages chicken sausages yep and then we have salad and stuff with it i'm just adding bling before I get carried away and cover it up with stuff because then it's blinged already. And then the second night we had pulled chicken sloppy joe things, which is one of my grandchildren's favorite rest, favorite meals. And the barbecue sauce we make is actually made by my oldest grandson. And he does a phenomenal job with it. It's uh, sugar-free. Um, is it a special recipe you can't give out the ingredients or? Oh, no. I just don't know them because I don't make it. Mm. When my bottle gets empty, I say, James, you need to come make grandma some more barbecue sauce. <laughs> he comes <laughs> over and makes barbecue sauce. Okay, there we are. It's fussy cut. And it's blinged. Oh. So now I did it this way, just in case you guys decide that you want to have it layered. 
because it I can cut out the center or we can just pop this up on this or we can just do this all by by itself. Yeah, it looks better that way. So I, I would cut the center out of the one with the border around it and pop this, it on the one. Yeah, and pop it on the fussy cut one. And then leave the border on there? No, get rid of that altogether. Oh. Okay. Vote plain or layered? Plain or layered? Plain. Plain. Plain, plain with no white border. Okay, I'm, when I, let me clarify, when I say layered, I mean what Maria said, cut oh, this yeah. part out and layer layered. it on top of that one. Layered. Oh, that would be good. Layered. Layered, layered, Val says layered. I say layered. Jean says plain. That was another layered. Yeah. Okay. Because we like watching you fussy cut. Apparently. <laughs> it's payback time. I know it is. For all the times I've done classes and made you guys fussy cut things. Just be glad it's not me or you'd be sitting for an hour. <laughs> Yeah, so when we're at the cabin, we basically eat like we're camping. We have a fridge. 24 7. <laughs> There's not much else to do besides eat and swim. <laughs> oh, yes. And swimming was spectacular. Oh, my God. Was it, yes, awesome, Maria? It was amazing. The water is the perfect temperature. The weather was perfect temperature. The only thing wrong was those stinking frogs that kept and i never even saw one. Oh, you're lucky <laughs> i like frogs they were hanging out on the little dock mm -hmm. okay i'm faking some of this because i don't know i can't see the distinction between one layer so it's going to be customized and then we get back to moat bay to put the boat back on the trailer to come home. And what's waiting for me at the boat launch? <laughs> no way. <laughs> it. A frog. Mm. One stinking stupid frog. <laughs> and then the kids take off to the beach because they spent the whole time we we're up there getting floaties out of the lake floating logs and stuff out of the lake and putting them up past the high water mark so they didn't float away again. So they go to the beach to do this in the little paddle boat. And I hear this, oh, cool, look at that. That's awesome. And I'm thinking, what are they looking at now? They found a snake eating a frog. Ooh. Ooh. So they sat there and watched this frog being consumed by the snake. So the frog is this big. <laughs> the snake is this big. The jaw went this big. <laughs> he said it was amazing. Okay, grandma did not go to, over there to check it out. Grandma should have taken her camera over. Nope. Yes. Nope. nope. I'm with grandma. I would have been nowhere near that either. <laughs> grandpa could have gone. Yes, snakes are a blue job. <laughs> it was not something I wanted to participate in. How cool for them to see it though. Yes, exactly. And then we made, they wanted to keep poking the snake. <laughs> <laughs> That's their boys. <laughs> uh, no, you can't do that. You have to leave it alone. It's having its dinner that's going to keep it going for like a month or so. Yeah, so it, it was quite the trip up there with all our assorted frogs and snakes and other assorted things. Okay, I'm putting and, this on here. And weird company. And weird company. Who, John Maria? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, so there it is layered. Okay. Nice. I like okay. it. There we are. That's gone. Bye bye. Bye bye. 
And now we're going to put some leafus. Well, you know what's wrong? I'm not. I'm not using the proper phone. That's why I'm getting that stupid glare. The proper phone. Uh, Jean, we're out on the lake, um, quite a ways from shore, so we don't have mosquito issues. They don't come out that far. And when they do, the bats follow them. Yes, the bats are good at eating them. The bats have a lovely feast. I think I only saw three mosquitoes the whole time we were up there. It was lovely. Okay, so what was, what were you asked? I was reading Jean thing and missed whatever somebody said. Me. What Put was it? Leaves on it. Leaves on it. Some green stuff. Some greens. Oh, hey, what color green am I doing? Oh, old olive. Hey, there's old olive. Mm -hmm. Pear pizzazz. There's pear pizzazz. And you know, I, I really feel like I need to change my phone. Hang on. Let me get this started because this glare is driving me crazy. Is it as glary for you guys that it is for me? No. No? Uh, no, no. Okay. There's pear pizzazz. And here's granny apple. Hmm. No. Okay, so Wendy says greens and ribbon. Yeah, well, we haven't got to the blingy part yet, Wendy. We will. Uh, pear pizzazz from Valerie. Yeah, see, she's having issues with the glare. Just hang on. It's going to take me. While you're deciding which <laughs> green, I'm going to change my phone. Isn't there a some some green called gumball nope not anymore used to be how come i still have it <laughs> there's also soft succulent oh yes mm. um much that more group, uh, that group west coast like soft succulent Okay, uh, this one's coming online. I think the the granny apple, that is what it is, or is it garden green or something, would be too bright. Yeah. With the muted papaya. Either pear pizzazz or soft succulent, or now the phone's gone. <laughs> yeah, just hang on. <laughs> hang on. Look at her Christmas tree in the background. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, oh. come on, turn around. I'll do this. Come on, really? Your phone. Oh doesn't my God, what is going on? Smart things is stopped. Well, that's good because I don't know what smart things is. Okay. I'm going to switch that around, put this up here, take that phone over there, go here. Hang on, I'm coming. Hang on. We're hanging on. Replace spotlight. Really? There you are. Am I? Mm -hmm. You don't see me. There you are. Do you see me or do you? Do we see you live? Now I see Maria. <laughs> Somebody's got it on speaker view then. I see you now, Betty. La 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 la. Maybe. Here you are. Smug. OK. 
say. There's something's happening at your end there. Yeah, I don't know what. Might have to just stick with what I had, which is annoying. We've got to find it. Oh, there it is. Uh oh. Hang on. There we go. Okay, we're back with the one that was not good. Okay, let me just try this one more. <laughs> it keeps telling me something went wrong. No kidding, Einstein. Okay, so out with Granny Apple. Turn around, look at me. Okay, so, oh, Val, Val, Betty Valerie says, cause you're old about the green. <laughs> so we have pear, 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 pear. We have two pears, three pears. There's a dark outline in um, olive and then do the, the solid leaf in pear. No, technology is not grand, Valerie. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it just doesn't like me being on with three devices at the same time. Oh, well. Okay. Does that sound okay to everybody? Do the outline in Old Olive and the filler inner on Pear Pizzazz? Sure. Yes. We can try it. What do we got to lose? Nothing. First, I need the stamps. One, two. But for my shoe. Three, four, open the door. Five, six, pick up six. Sticks. Sticks. Seven, eight, a big fat hen. Nine, ten. Do it again. <laughs> I don't sure. Know. Let's do it again. Okay, let's plug this in before it decides to die on me. Okay, outline old olive. And how many shall I do just to start with? Three. Uno. Dos. Run out of paper. Here's another piece. Three. There we are. Put that away. Oh, apparently my my internet is not connected on that. That's why it wasn't working. Okay. Uh oh. I have blotchy again. Oh, you forgot to you forgot to spoon it. spoon <laughs> it. First, clean it. Then spoon it. Is that a special spoon by stamping up or? No, this is a spoon by dollar store. <laughs> and the spooning does? it. Um, you massage the ink down into the ink pad so it's not quite as juicy. Okay. And it takes the blotchy away. There we go. Oh, that's I like. pretty. I really like. And then you know what's going to have to happen. I think I... <laughs> Anybody I can, come I'll over? And, okay, I'll email it to you. You can just fax it over and then I'll fax it back. <laughs> okay. I'm still trying to get this because this glare is killing me. Okay, 
I know. And you're going, oh my God, just forget it, woman. AC. I can hear you. Hey, fussy cutting. I didn't quite line this one up properly. This is a lot of dipsy doodles on these. making me dizzy <laughs> that's a song mm. i'm so dizzy my heart is spinning wasn't that crimson and clover mm. i have no idea it's before my time <laughs> <laughs> i had a boyfriend when way back when who gave me that 45 album as a birthday well, present. Heaven. I think I do, yeah. 45. Think you're right. It was you, a 45. Yeah. You are uh, aging yourself, my friend. I'm only 23. That's true. That's he found it in an ancient people's store. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That was a long time ago. And you know, I can still see him dropping it off because he was very proud i'm sure he didn't want to deal with my parents <laughs> so we were sitting in the house having dinner and we used our table overlooked the backyard and he drove up on his bicycle and put it on top of the garbage can <laughs> and drove away i could still see it was he on his five speed or one speed no, he was a one speed. That was a well, long. It was a forty-five. Ago. It was long before five <laughs> speeds. <laughs> That's why it was only one speed. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm still cutting. They left people behind again today, um, Glenda. Did they? Holy yeah. man. I've never seen as much traffic as I did yesterday on that ferry. That was unbelievable. That's because they all came here. Mm -hmm. Bringing us their Delta variant, the buggers. Oh my God. Yeah, I see you guys have got active cases there now. So do we. Yeah. We have oh, Delta. Do we? I don't I don't know which one, but we've got two active cases. Didn't we ship them out? Not unless they're super sick. Mm. Yeah, Where's these, that Fall River? Yes. These young people that think that they're impervious to this thing and not getting their vaccinations is screwing it up for the rest of us. Sure is. There's three in Campbell River in a nursing home that have had their vaccinations. Uh, they're all oh. nursing staff and they've all come down with it. Oh my God. That's what they're saying. The only hope is that they won't get it as bad. Yes. I think we, there's one sh shot you have, you might have to get a, a booster shot. Yeah. The well, Dr. Bonnie said today, don't don't um, start thinking third shot yet. Good. Yeah, it was all doom and gloom from the government today. I listened to Farnsworth and is giving people shit for not evacuating and putting firefighters' lives at risk. And then Bonnie Henry comes on with her stuff and locks down the interior again. Mm -hmm. Is that going to affect your trip? No, we don't go through the interior because they've now opened up the, the canyon. Okay, you'll go the long way. We'll go the long way. Well, we'll go up through the canyon instead right. of up the Coquihalla. Okay. And with Alberta removing all the restrictions makes me furious. Yes. 
I put one of the plastic inserts of the 45s on the inside of my brother's card used to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so am I adding like this? Sticking them in here somewhere? That looks nice. Yes. Yes. But they're sticking out past the edge of the card, so it can't happen. It's funny when I see them like that. Um, I had the same problem when I did my sunflowers. To me, they always look like Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> <laughs> So I tended to always put a couple on the bottom and then just kind of one off to the side. Well, because I want to well, do that's a, better. I want to do a sentiment on there. So let me get a piece that's relatively the size of what a sentiment would be. Well, okay, it's a little bit bigger. So that's going to go down there like that. I like that. Mm -hmm. Putting the two together, I really like. Yeah. Not, Okay. But I can and share with you how you don't get to travel. <laughs> Hard to be. be like me and have our identity stolen through our bank accounts and every credit card and debit card and bank account we have has been frozen. Oh, oh my no. God. All my automatic e-transfers. That's why Glenda wasn't able to send my August e-transfer. Oh, Every, everything's been um, frozen. We have to open new checking accounts, credit cards, saving accounts, line of credit accounts. Oh my God. We have to order new checks. And because CIBC is my primary bank, but I also deal with Bank of Montreal and Bank of Montreal is one of my direct things that I transfer with um, one of my paychecks. Yeah. I also have to go to Port Alberni and shut down our checkings and savings and another line of credit there too. Oh Lord. Yeah, it's been what two and a half a days. Hassle. Yeah, it occurred after a one online purchase that I did. And uh, can I ask what store? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will you share? <laughs> I was stamping up. <gasps> oh no. But that's okay. Um, for, for what I, I, we can't say that that's where it happened it's just no. that no. that's how it happened mm -hmm. but um, yeah just almost right after my payment for staffing up went through in my last order um, things kind of went haywire here but, um, because stamping up when they a number of months ago they sent out an email to some people saying that there had been a breach or something and um your card might have been thing because well, i had to cancel time. mine and everything then but i've had no trouble since yeah um you know my paper pumpkin's been going through regularly on the card and it was just a bigger order i did but so i don't want to say it was because of stamping up it's no. i think it was just coincidental that that's when it happened but, you have um, let them know i hope uh, no, right now I've still been super, I was supposed to be on holidays two days ago, but um, you know, it's really hard when you can't fill your gas tank in your car with anything. Oh no, you can't do anything. You can't buy milk at the store. No, but you sure uh, roll a lot of loose change in your house real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm really sorry that's that. happened to you, but I'm glad you can laugh about it yeah you know you just have to keep on moving forward otherwise you just sit down and you kind of go i mean we're so fortunate that we were able to freeze our account um what they had done was they changed we have fraudulent alerts and two letter verifications on almost all of our stuff so that it's pretty tight but they were able to change the email address my mobile phone number and our home phone number. And I, at, after they had done that, about three minutes after they had done that, I got a fraudulent alert on our email um, wow. through, a through a different account, not through that one, because they had already changed the email addresses on that one. So we just got on the phone right away at 6.30 on Wednesday night and we were on 
to about 11 counseling accounts with people as much as we could and then all day yesterday and now today we're trying to reopen accounts and uh, you know let hydro know that uh because we have a lot of auto payments that come out oh. of our bank account hydro telephone you know life insurance investments mm -hmm. and so all of those things have had to have been canceled and assigned to a new bank account oh, oh. <laughs> it's you never kind of realize how much you rely on the modern way of banking until you have to shut it all down Oh, and how do you even remember? Um, they were able to, in the background, on our primary account, they were able to see who my payees were and nice. the account numbers are associated to my payees. Perfect. And they printed that off for me today. So I just have to go in and sign on and get them all going. Mm -hmm. um, we deal with Mike Palmer in Port Alberni as a financial advisor and he will on Monday deal with all our investments and advise them of the new change of banking. Wow, wow, wow. So it's really interesting, you know, Vast CIBC, how can somebody go in and steal your identity and modify home numbers, cell phone numbers, and an email account without asking me for authorization before that's done? Yes. Yeah. And they said, well, gee, we're used to one thing requests but all three of them happened within um, two minutes of each other it was just at 633 635 and 637 on wednesday night all three were done that's a sophisticated um outfit doing this yeah but you know I, i'm peanuts i've got you know my bank accounts aren't millions they're so, were they able to get anything or did you get it all stopped in time? There's a couple of transactions that um, we haven't touched our line of credits for six, seven years. Mm -hmm. And there was a couple of transactions on one and one on the other where funding was taken out. But they say that looks like it was just kind of like as a test run to make sure that it was going to go. Okay. Um, there had been a password reset request on our account. Um, but we, our account got shut down before CIBC was provided the password. Like that's how close we were. Wow. And so th they told me that when they go, Hey, I want a password reset. I don't know how to sign on because they had changed the email address and the mobile phone number. Then the bank of commerce would have sent the new password to the address that they had changed. Oh, they know what they're doing. So that's, we're very, very fortunate that. Now, will you be responsible for those things on your line of credit? No, at this stage of the game, it um, sounds like um, CIBC will be covering all of those because we do have all the fraudulent protection. Excellent. But, you know, it's working in the police station, people come in and they go, Oh, I just spent $10,000 on something because the CRA was coming to get me or the border crossing people. And you kind of go, how stupid are you? You know, you don't say that to them, right? Mm, but you think but it. You think it. <laughs> well, it's like, come on. And then you sit here and you go, you have everything as tight as you possibly could. And yet they were still able to hack. And so hmm. I can understand how sometimes when people have come in and said they thought that they hadn't done anything, how hackers are able to take their funding. So, so scary. But back to the circle on that, that's Glenda how you don't go on holidays is because you have your bank accounts frozen. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I won't remove you from the, the tutorial for the month. Oh, well, thank you. My $7 a month is for a worry right now. <laughs> well, you never know when you want to make cards made with the bloom where you're planted. Well, I got to tell you, my stamping up order that possibly triggered this arrived today, and I didn't know whether to throw it at the door or to embrace it and go, oh, thank God, I've got something else to do. <laughs> <laughs> Too small. Very pretty. Too small. My, my sheep arrived today, so. Oh, nice. Sheep? Where are you going? Yeah. In the farm? Indeed, <laughs> sheep. The, the stamping up sheet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Eddie was trying to be smart. Eddie uh, is smart. 
Why? And I am smart, aren't I? <laughs> sure, you are. Smarter so the only thing I guess that you're like, if you're doing electronic banking and everything, you might want to maybe print off your bank statements a little bit more regularly than what I do and uh, keep an eye on them because you just don't know. Well, and also keep your eye on your, your credit card statements for the month. In May, I work at, at Bigger, 20 miles west of where I live at Purdue, in Saskatchewan. And I've been working quite steady because we're a grocery store and even since COVID started, we've been busy. I purchased two, two days in May. The third day, there was a purchase in Ottawa, Ontario at a window shop for almost $700. Wow. I didn't know until I got my May statement. And I thought, that's odd. We haven't been to Ottawa for a couple of years. And it frustrated me at first, not as much as your incident, but it was still, how can people do this? Yeah. Finally, in June, my husband kind of kept hounding me off and on that I should look into this more. Still frustrated, you want to just leave it alone, you know? But my husband phoned the company in Ottawa and he asked for somebody in the accounts or office department. And as soon as the gentleman come on the line, my husband said who he was and why he was phoning. Before he could say how much he was inquiring about in this transaction, the gentleman at that window place said, you're phoning in regards to X amount of dollar transaction, aren't you? And he knew he was waiting for our, our call. He said, I've, I've been waiting for you to call. They had a few of these scams going on this spring. And I, my card was one of them. Somebody had yeah. typed in the wrong number or gave the wrong number is what happened. So he said to my husband to contact the credit card company and have it looked into. So I had to fill out forms. He gave us the information on his side to fill into the form. And it was about two weeks later, 10 days later, a lady from the company, very nice, very helpful, uh, said what she was calling about and that they found that it was fraudulent. I was not, not, um, um, what's the right word? Um, Held responsible? Yes, for fraudulent and that it was, someone else had done it, if, why I hadn't done it. And they refunded my money. Nice, yeah, very I was fortunate. fortunate. I was fortunate. But very fortunate. A weird yeah. feeling, though, isn't it? To know that it somebody's is. been able to do that. Yeah. Well, a few years ago, like we used to farm, and a few years ago, we had a gentleman, a farmer, so that farm south of us, a ways, had come 30 miles and stole one of our, our implements, a tandem disc. And my husband drove the countryside and found it sat in front of it and phoned the police. The police came finally. They had went by a, somebody on a motorbike sitting on top of the hill watching my husband. And it turned out it was the guy that stole our equipment was the one on the motorbike watching. The police said, you don't need to worry about coming back today. Come tomorrow and pick up your implement. That'd be fine. My husband took the tractor and went down the next day and got it almost 30 miles from where we live or where we farm and the tandem disc was gone. He phoned the police, which had to phone the dispatch at Regina and they sent somebody out from a local detachment close to where it was. The policeman had drove by my husband twice and kept on going. And my husband had to phone the dispatcher again and said, would you turn the police car around to come back to the tractor that's waiting for him? So they did. And there wasn't much that the police could do. Unfortunately, they had um, 
couple of binders full of stuff that he had done and taken and what was recorded and reported. And unfortunately, that's next, later in the spring, he, this gentleman was filling a water tank on a, a rack behind the tractor next to the road in a slough. And the water got sloshing and overturned the, the tank in the, onto, into the slough on top of him and he passed away that way. That was, wow. you don't know, we live in town, not on the farm. So how many times did I walk to work when I worked in Purdue here that he was watching us? Cause he knew when I went to work and he knew when my husband went to the farm. Like it, yeah. it's quite a feeling to have. You are so violated. You don't understand it until you have, it happens. And when we heard that he had, had been pinned under the water and had drowned, you just, and I'm not being disrespectful and please don't think I'm ruthless or anything. Harm us a unless, bit. Unless you're in this sewage situation, you don't know the weight that went off my shoulders. Yeah. yeah. I, finally, nobody's watching me. Nobody's watching us. Yeah. You know? I feel bad for his family because they've lost somebody, yeah. but karma's a bitch. Exactly. And this gentleman had also stole our, our, our one auger no, sorry, our swather. And there was only 10 pest and swathers made at the time, and we had one of them. And it was sold at North Battleford at an auction. Um, and a gentleman from south of Swift Current, that would be four or five hours away from uh, where the auction was, had bought it, but took the hitch home. Now, why, we don't know, but he had taken the hitch home. And so... Dave, somebody had told my husband that it was at this auction. He went and sat with it for about three hours before the police would come to take the statement. And they finally did. But that night, this gentleman had made, had tried to phone us at home. We had an answer machine at the time that he wanted to talk to my husband about the swather. Like, you just don't understand how a person feels like that when that happens. So when when we did get the reprieve of him being drowned in the, the slough, it's just such a weight goes off. I feel for you going through all this trouble. It's it's not fun. Thank you. It's uh I guess it would I really, you know, just if you are all as doing what we've been doing, auto transfers, e-transfers right. all the time. Um, I would just like to share maybe just really watch your accounts a little bit maybe more closely than what you've been doing or maybe you have been doing it like you know I checked mine with my statements but it would have been too late um, or set up fraudulent alert on your accounts um, I mean that's what saved us from being wiped out was the fraudulent alert it came after the fact of the identity theft but it did stop the theft of the money from the account so the the nice you know, thing can... about it is when things like this happen, nowadays, we do talk about it. So, you know, there's talk about us to warn each other, whereas at one time, nobody talked of this happening to you. You know, it's, it's terrible. I know two people, I work in a grocery store, and I know two people had come in. One, a lady had come in in about March this year. No, February, sorry, February. And a gentleman had come in about the first part of July. And they were, they had asked for a certain amount of gift cards at a certain dollar value. Yeah, fraud. Yes. And it was this lady, when she, she had phoned about it first, and I answered the phone and I said, well, with gift cards are like tobacco. We can't give any information over the phone about it. You have to come in person. And so I said this to the lady and she was a little upset, but she did come down later. And I knew her from years ago. And she asked for the cards and I gave her some, but it just didn't feel right. 
I didn't say anything to her at the time because I thought, well, I'm just a clerk. What do I know? But all weekend, it bothered me. That Monday morning, I told the one boss, and she Facebook messaged the daughter of this lady and told her what happened, that Marilyn was concerned about it, and just, you know, want to make sure everything's okay. It turned out that this lady, after she had left me at the store, had drove to Saskatoon, 60 miles away, got more cards, had to talk to the people on the phone after she activated them. And they said she still had to go to another place to get a different kind of card. And her husband at the time got on the phone and said, no more, this is it, no more. It turned out it was a scam. And this gentleman had come in the first part of July and we had, we had educated the girls at the front that work on the till about this first incident. When this gentleman come in, he had asked for uh, visa cards. And it was first thing, the girls come to me and said, this told me about this gentleman, what should we do? I said, don't worry, I'll handle it. And I went to the gentleman and just politely and said to him, is everything okay? I said, we've had this problem before and I'm just letting you know, is this a scam because of what has happened? He didn't really get upset, but you could tell he just wasn't telling everything and you know, don't want people to know. Right? And so when the boss came, she went to activate three out of the four cards he was to get. And it wouldn't activate anymore on our machine. And he had just left. She said, well, this is all I can do. And when he said, not a problem, he left. The gift card company phoned us and said, we're just wondering if everything's okay because so many cards was activated. And the gentleman had sat in his vehicle outside. He didn't go across the street to where he was asked to go to get more cards. And he sat in his vehicle for a, quite a while and then he left. And so he come in again about three or four days later and he mentioned that he got scammed. We had stopped him in time. He hadn't lost anything. But it's just so scary how easily and quickly these people can get them. They're very good talkers. Sorry, Glenda, to take up your time. That's just, that's fine, Marilyn and Rosemary and anybody else who wants to talk. That's what Friday night's about. I have to say, I, I like the ribbon that you put on the card. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> so do I. I was just doing my thing, my thing. I saw that, we saw that. So I, I took like the, the shape of the label too. The, the ribbon is um, black and white, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I tried with the, the blends to see what it would look like and it's gorgeous, but I, it was a little bit too much, but you can color it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. We need bling. Yep, not black dots. What do you think? Sure. Okay, I just gotta find them. Bumblebee. <laughs> put, put the dot, some dots on the, uh, just on the sentiment. If you put them anywhere else, you're not gonna see them anyways. What yeah. about pearls painted with the papaya blend? Okay. Pearls. Pearls, pearls. Oh, that's turtles, turtles. <laughs> <laughs> no turtles, yeah, yeah, yeah. What else have we got? I think there's so many dots on the background already that need something different than round. Well, 
I like the idea of the black over the others just to pop a couple of big dots in there. Yeah, that's I nice have square idea. ones, but they're not the right color. No. Well, you can use the dots like over over top the dots. of the dots. Yeah. The dots over the dots? Yeah. That's just, a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I like. You always seem to put them in the right place the first time. <laughs> the first two. The third one's always a challenge. <laughs> we'll put it on the other side of that flower. And yeah, right there is good. Very nice. It's gorgeous. We did good. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, did. You guys are good. It's beautiful. Well, if the card is made by us, isn't it? I mean, suggestions by us yes absolutely i'm surprised they didn't make a die for that set well i think it's as it is a celebration set and it's only here for a couple of months and That's the stamp true. set itself is already because it's a, a level two yes it is like that's 120 right yeah yeah mm -hmm. Valerie says, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I like turtles, turtles, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that the song for the, the chocolate? Yeah. Yep. I'm just bringing a little bit of chocolate into everybody's life. Well, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's inside, outside. That's gorgeous. Envelope. I Lovely. don't like that. It's too flat. Put a. Put three little teeny tiny somethings in there. Pearls. Yeah. Can you kind Colored. of shape some of the petals? Can I kind of shape some of the petals? You mean this layer? Yes. Um, not now. <laughs> They're glued down. I asked that a while ago. Oh, I didn't hear you. All right. I'm glad you're brave to take it off. That's only cardstock. It screws up. You didn't do another one. So then you have to fussy cut and then you'll be complaining and yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll all be Marilyn's fault because I had to take it off. I got broad shoulders and you can't hit me this far away. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We have a mountain or two in between. A couple of rivers too. <laughs> okay, now which way did it go? <laughs> Look at the back as to how you took it off. You see the marks on the back of the top one? Yeah. That'd be it. Are the boys in bed now? The young boy's in bed, but Ben was still up. No. Oh. But he had a blanket on him on the deck or his was putting him down or something. Oh. He was pretty tired. Who you got the kids, Betty? No. Just the grands? No, um, Gerald was talking to Tim. Tim didn't phone last night for uh, his he phone now. Well, he phoned like, you know, an hour ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All this um, BS. Lovely. Lovely. Am I leaving them white or I am I coloring them? Um, what'd you call that stuff? Can you turn the card the other way? <laughs> no, you got to stand on your head. I've already turned my phone over twice, but it doesn't work. <laughs> there it is. It's gorgeous. I think they look good white. Yeah. Okay, pushing them down. Oh, it's not in the center. Oh. Oh, Glenda. I know. <laughs> I can't. Hey, does anybody need cucumber? Sure. 
<laughs> I'll email it to you. Holy okay. man, I came home to six of them. Oh, nice. And then I go into the garage and our Such darling daughter-in-law had picked two more. So there's like a whole whack of them. <laughs> and one of them, we have it up a fence and there's mesh on the fence and one had grown through the mesh. So it's <laughs> a big bulb and then this little tiny neck and then this <laughs> big bulb. Wow. <laughs> I had to go out there and break it to get it out of there because it would stop. There we are. Oh, there's there our card. Is. I it's like beautiful. those black dots on there. Me too. They're yes. Pretty. There's enough bling. You guys can't see the bling, but I can see the bling. And I can see, I saw some winky on there too. Will you bring them to North Dakota? Absolutely. As soon as I can get through the border, Jean. <laughs> we are not allowed through the border. Well, no. We can probably get through. We just can't come home. <laughs> well, you can fly in and out of the states, which I don't understand. Well, yeah, you can, but you still have a hell of a time getting back into the in Canada. Canada. They say you can, but it's not as easy as that. I'm not going nowhere. Me neither. Me neither, neither. Me neither, neither, neither nor. <laughs> neither, neither, nor. There we go. Look at that. And it only took us an hour and 40 minutes. It's just gorgeous. 38 <laughs> minutes. Not so beautiful. Bad. So I'm in a swap. Swap? One of the projects I took to the cabin to work on was my swap cards while the kids were out fishing for frogs. <laughs> oh. You really don't like frogs, do you? No, I do not. So look at that. Oh. oh. Isn't I that the forest cute? Forest cat balls on their trees. Pardon, pardon me? I didn't know the forest has red balls on the tr on the top of the tree. Absolutely, it does. In oh, Glenda's it's world, it's a fluff <laughs> coming off of Santa's suit. It's <laughs> Christmas, so of course there has to be red. I thought it maybe could be Rudolph's poop. Maybe his poop <laughs> is red, like his his, his nose. nose is. Yeah. Very, so this very is cute. part of a tag set. Hang on. Oh. We're making that next month when it's my turn. No, we're making deer, peaceful deer next month. Oh, what is this? Santa's sleigh or something? No, this is gift giving dies. Oh, is this old ones or new ones? These are new. Oh. So they cut out the dot, the tags. So I just cut the outside part off. Oh, yeah. And use the sleigh part. Oh, smart. Nice. Guys. You're so smart, Glenda. I'm telling you, every once in a while I have a brain wave. Then I have a brain fart. Then you <laughs> <laughs> I have more of those than the waves. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Betty. What other one did you do for your swap? My swap? Oh, I haven't got another one done yet. I'm supposed to be doing two of them, but I only got one done. Is the other one going to be Christmas? Is that a Christmas swap or is it? It's a new catalog swap. Oh. Which means I can do anything in the new catalog. I can't do celebration because that's not what the swap is about. But oh. I can do anything. Anything new catalog-y. Thanks, Jean, for sharing time with us. I'm glad you could make it. And Valerie, you're right. I wouldn't fly now with unruly passengers and people sitting next to me. Not happening. It's too people in a plane. I wouldn't take Ted with neither. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be unruly. Ted's going to be unruly. I don't think Ted's been unruly a day in his life. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,
Oh, I'm thinking he funny. has to have had his moments. Well, before I met him. <laughs> really? Pre Glenda. Yep. That calmed him down. He's he got his wildness out before I met him. I put my foot down. <laughs> and he's and he stepped on her toes. <laughs> he had to he had he was a bad boy. He used to smoke. Yeah, that lasted about a week after he met me. If you're going to spend time with me, you're not going to be smelling like an ashtray. <laughs> I think I, I'm, I got the same kind of guy. He said he wasn't going to kiss me anymore. Either I smoke or I don't get kissed. <laughs> I think I gave up the wrong thing some days. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen on a Friday night now, do you? Oh. Medicine. <laughs> Valerie, has it been five and a half years for you already? Wow. No way. We're so proud of you for stopping smoking. That was, I know it was hard for you. That's crazy. Yep. Time flies by. Huh. Wow. 35 well, years or something for me, I think. Wow. How many years? I think it's 35 years. August the 23rd, 1986. <laughs> Holy moly. So when you smell a nice cigarette smoke, do you sometimes still get that urge? No, no, um, it's pretty near enough to make to gag a maggot in my world. <laughs> I know. The only thing worse is I really, really loathe the smell of weed. Oh, God, that truly does make me um, very yes. nauseous. I agree with you. The new weed stinks, old weed I used to like. No, I didn't like the old weed, but the old weed smelled way better when I was like 15, 16, 20 <laughs> than it does now. Okay, and on that note, I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> go smoke some weed. <laughs> Thanks for the entertainment, ladies. <laughs> Good night, Shannon. Good night, Enjoy Shannon. Weekend. Oh, man, we're so bad. Oh, we, we must have gone through a patch of smokers. We're not sure where somewhere in Port Alberni actually we're pretty sure but a couple of our masks that were in the car every time we put them on you could smell weed it was awful <laughs> oh my god I know well I think maybe it's something they put in the masks to uh so people will calm down <laughs> maybe I don't know it went in the garbage <laughs> When is the you garbage saying I should really put a, a sense diffuser in the police station so when people come in, they can just get the aroma pot as they come in? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Calm them all down? Oh, my God. Norma agrees that new weed stinks and old stuff doesn't. Not like yeah. the old stuff. The old stuff, if they had marketed it in a candle, I would have burned it. The new stuff is just gross. It's and we have growers and smokers all the way around us. Oh, yep. As soon as the dew hits at night, it's just like whoosh, the smell of pot. That wow. sucks that it has to ruin your life. Yeah, it doesn't bother me that much. I don't she mind it. She just inhales a couple of times and then she goes and eats a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> I just go gnaw on the plants next door. <laughs> Hi, John. Good night, Jean. I hope you have a good weekend. Betty said hello, John. Hi, Betty. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, well, I'm pure as the driven snow. I don't couldn't tell you what the old stuff smelled like if you tortured me. I could because my mom was very heavily asthmatic and they used to put it in a little bright orange tin and they called it Kellogg's Asthma Relief. And <laughs> you would take it out and put it in the lid of the tin and then you would put it on the camp table the wooden tables and she would light the edge of it and put a tea towel over her head and inhale it because it opened her airways oh wow interesting 
Well, that's Here. better than me. I can tell you what it smelled like because I uh, smoked it. <laughs> so did I. No denying it. And I can tell you that the new stuff knocks you on your ass real fast. Really? Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's been a long time since yep. I tried old, it, so I don't know. The old stuff, you could pass a joint around and just suck on that baby three, four, five, ten times, whatever happened. Two tokes now, and you were on your butt. No <laughs> way, really. Yeah, it's just that strong now. Guess what so they opened up beside the hospital auxiliary? No. Yep. Another one? We need five of them in town? I think there's more than five in town. Oh, it's ridiculous. It's nuts, really. Yeah. We're all going to go in on the first day they're open and ask for a free sample. <laughs> <laughs> You want a gummy? I was going to invite you all to the West Coast for a really nice card session, but you're all going to bring your pot. You better stay home. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I think those days are gone. Like pot, but we don't. <laughs> it's a long time ago now. Many, well, I can't say I did smoke it. I smoked it one day and I had a, such a sore throat. Oh yeah. <laughs> Three days I oh and I just thought, whoa, wow. Not worth it. I'd rather drink a bottle of Prosecco, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Angry Orchard for me. What's like that? Cider. Apple cider. Oh. I don't know. You guys have got me hooked on Mrs. Vickers chips now. <laughs> oh dear. Oops. That would be me. Sorry. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was one of the first times I joined in your sessions and you were all talking about chips and finally I found them and now that's all I can seem to find. Oh, and they're just <laughs> What's disgusting. your favorite flavor, Rosemary? Salt and vinegar. Yeah, yes. Plain oh. for me. Hmm? Just the plain ones for me. Yeah. It's still Hawkins for me. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's the right up there too. Yeah, we had those on the week during the week at the cabin. <laughs> I've discovered a new uh, chip flavor. It's spicy salt and vinegar. Oh, spicy. so you take the all dressed and you mix them with the Mrs. Vicky's salt and vinegar. And that's what they taste like. They are so good. And if you put them in a peanut butter and strawberry jam sandwich, oh my <laughs> God, it's heaven. <laughs> oh my Lord. Are you pregnant? <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, Disgusting. we can all make baby cards. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. No, it's good. Ew, well, ew, ew. Well, eating no, something no. like that, you'd better light your Hawkins so you can find the outhouse real quick. <laughs> 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 no. Valerie likes cheesies too. Yep, I think yeah. there's a lot of people in the world like Hawkins. Yeah. Yep. Don't mind me a good pork rind every now and then either. Hey, Glenda. Mm -hmm. And I asked at Savon when I went back to get, um, I went and bought some sugar-free ice cream mm -hmm. to eat at the ferry. And I asked and they don't carry them at Savon. She said, we used to, we brought them in for a special and then they went away and we don't carry them anymore. Yeah, Walmart's the only place I found them. And they're I not- them the other day in Savon food. Hanging oh, up yeah, on there's a, a certain on brand. brand. There's a certain brand. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. So the mainstream runs are with the chips and stuff in Walmart, but these ones are with the, um, you know, where they bring in the Asian food and the Mexican food and all that in with oh, the, yeah. that's where they are. Ah. Oh, you're find, talking about the on the of the chip aisle right there at, at Savon. What, Betty? Pork rinds. Yeah, but not these ones. I saw those. I'm trying. Yeah. There it is. I'm trying to find the picture. There we go. Chicharron. And they're Canadian made. Canasia Chicharron. Are they spicy or are they? Nope. Plain. And uh, all they got in is the ingredients. Like they don't have additives and preservatives and flavors and all that crap. They're really good. Oh. Chicharron. Chicharron. Oh, Valerie, you got to have pork rinds. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever tried them. 
Norma says, are you sure you didn't smoke any of that pot? And I was talking about my sandwich. <laughs> No, but I might have slipped it in the sandwich. You never know. <laughs> oh, oh that's peanut funny. butter and jam and a whole bunch of different things are is an amazing sandwich. No Just peanut butter and banana, Just salt peanut and vinegar and chips on a tuna fish sandwich. Oh yeah, oh, yes. gross. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and Hawkins cheesies in peanut butter and jam. Oh my God, it's so good. Never tried that. Oh. No, I was I'm raised with purist. crispy lettuce in my peanut butter sandwiches. Lettuce? Oh. Yeah. Real crisp lettuce, not the wilted stuff. Mm. And sometimes um, slices of onion in a peanut butter sandwich is yummy too. Yep. Yes. And sharp cheddar cheese. Mm, I haven't done that one. <laughs> uh -huh. When I was going to school, that was my favorite sandwich. But I'd make it in the morning and then on the bus on the way to school I'd sit on it so it really got squished and mushed <laughs> and then at lunchtime it was sheer heaven oh gosh <laughs> if it made it to lunchtime sometimes when a lunch rolled around I didn't have a sandwich left to eat. <laughs> my goodness how can we be friends <laughs> <sighs> grinds and corn that'll do it Oh, Port Alberni corn right now, you guys, is absolutely phenomenal. Super mm. sweet right now. Oh my God, it's like eating sugar. Yeah. Pretty good. We just went out and bought another batch of pickling cukes from them, and my husband picked up half a dozen cobs of corn, and they're so sweet. Yeah. What kind of corn is it? Good. No. Peach <laughs> and cream or something. I don't even it know. It looks Betty. like peaches and cream. It's so white and yellow. White and yellow, inside. yeah. Put it this way, Betty. I got some Chilliwack corn before we left. And John and I each had a cob. And it was like, it was good for your first corn of the year. Mm -hmm. Took them camping with us. Glenda cooked corn the first night. We went back to our RV and threw out all the rest of our corn. Because <laughs> there was no way I'd eat it after eating that. Wow. We yeah. could have kept it and fed it to my chickens. Oh, I wasn't packing it back and forth. Oh, come on now. You could have emailed me and I would have come over and got it. Okay. <laughs> yep, it's good corn. It's amazing. They have good strawberries too. Well, I'm thinking it's a pretty cool store all around, actually. Which and store their is carrots. It? Oh, their carrots are so yummy but they have limited supply and they pull them all out they bag them all up and they're gone in two days right behind yep. her house betty down the, down behind oh, the, the oh the street down the street where the yeah the far around the corner yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't 35 degrees outside we would have walked there to get them but i didn't want to walk that far in that heat we would have melted yep It was a wee bit warm. Mm -hmm. But at least we had air conditioning in the trailers. Thank goodness. I'm going to love you and leave you. Happy birthday to Gerald. Yep, I'll say it. He's Thank 75. You. Is he really? Yeah. Oh, man. He's old as dirt. He's a super senior. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> Give my cow a kiss for me tomorrow. No, I don't kiss cows. <laughs> <laughs> don't kiss Gerald. You don't kiss cows. What the heck? You better not be kissing frogs. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie says good night, Betty. Good night. We'll see you guys. Bye. Bye. <sighs> well, that was exciting. It was fun. I didn't expect to be crafting online but you guys did a good part of course I kind of took over at the end but <laughs> you didn't point. have a choice <laughs> <laughs> other or, things were happening or we you would still be making that card if you hadn't just gone ahead <laughs> I think I would yeah but that would have been okay too what does mine need 
my card here. Hang on, hang on. Ooh, I like bling. It needs bling. Holly. Just bling. Yep. Okay. Nothing else. Just some nice. Mm, I'm thinking. Um, have you got the um, elegant? What are they called? Elegant faceted gems. I don't know. I will have to look. Those would look cute. Really nice on that. Super subtle. Yep. Well, because it's white on white on white. Yep. I will do the sentiment probably in black on the inside or maybe just gray. Yeah, don't make it too glaring on the inside. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Have you seen the new star crossed embossing folder? No, I don't, I don't know whether think so. I I don't know whether I like it or not, but here it is. Wait. Oh, I got to get something behind it so you can see. Oh, yeah. See, oh, it's, it's, it's stars, and then diagonally, it's squares. I haven't even embossed with it yet, so I don't even know what it embosses like. It looks hmm. interesting, though. Maybe I should do that. Yeah. What time is it there, Marilyn? It is 5 to 11. Oh, you're only an hour out from us. Yeah. In the winter time, we're two hours ahead of you. Okay. Your Saskatchewan? Yes. In the winter time, I forget that and I message um, Leanne at what I think <laughs> it is 11 o'clock and it's midnight. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Why is that not working? Uh oh. How many of you, just a question, because I've been looking at it, also bought the small stamping up, um, you know, the $82. What am I trying to say? You know, the embossing machine. machine. Yeah. No. I have got the big one, but. Do you use the small one more than your big one then? I don't. I use the big one more than the small one. But that's because mine's out and I have room for it. So there it is. There's the embossing paper. That's nice. I like kind of that. Interesting. I can see Santa's sleigh going over the top part there. Yeah. Some lovely ribbon going up. That's almost the same idea as what Holly was doing with her card. Oh, look, I embossed two of them at once. Ah. Oh, oh, neat. You're special. Ah. Oh, no wonder it wasn't working. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Keep at it. Let's see what you're going to do. <laughs> um, uh, 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 uh. Doing that and then just putting a simple a sentiment on it would be just a simple little card. Yeah, that'd be nice. It's true. Let's see. I have and, a white card base. And people would wonder who the card was from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Valerie says the baby boss. I have it and I love it. Oh, thanks, Valerie. And then she says, ink it up and try it. Oh, that, that was nice. my thought too. Oh. Okay. If Where's you that? could ink, if you could ink one side of that embossing folder, mm -hmm. that would be neat. Okay, what side am I inking? The square side or the dot or the star side? Stars. Are the stars out tonight? <laughs> Sponge. What color? Something soft. It just happens to be. Oh, Valerie says the whole thing. Okay. okay let's do, just let's do, do the whole thing and then I'll do the not whole thing. Oh, come on.
Do you always use the sponge after to do that, Glenda? Um, I, I prefer it because I like it a little bit less subtle or a little bit more subtle, sorry. Mm -hmm. But if you want more ink, then you can't do the, you can't do what I just did. It just takes the harshness out. Now I can see that this is not smoothing out like I normally like it to be, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Let's see if I can get this back in the, in here and use this piece. Cause you know, this is the one I already ran through. I've never seen an embossing folder ink before. When you're doing this, you go slower so that it gives the ink a chance to get off of the embossing folder and onto your card stuff. Just one pass through or two? Just one. Okay, it's got a lot of um, sponge marks on it. Okay, hang on. That was try number one. More paper. Um, where'd I put my cleaner? There it is. Yeah, when you're using embossing folders, you should never put them through your machine backwards. Always put it through hinge first because you can pop your embossing folder. Oh, thank okay. you for that. It's happened to me a couple of times in the middle of a class. So if you do ever pop your embossing folder, packing tape works really well to put them back together again. Okay. I am going to try. I'll just do this and I'll run it through and show you what it looks like. Just not. Not altered anything. And when you do this, put your ink on one side, put your cardstock on the other side. Don't put it on the ink side and try to move it around because you'll just mush it. Oops. And see, I missed a spot there. I'm going to have a spot that doesn't have ink, but I can't move it now because it's already, already touched down. Uh. There you go. That's cool. That is. So because all I did was block, block it with the ink, when you look at it, you can see splotches and places that have missed. Mm -hmm. But that's OK, because that just makes it look antique right? Then you put it on, where's the card base go? Put it on the card base. Oops, I like the stars up. I don't know, this looks better that way. I agree. i put that on there. Awesome. And there you go. Yes. That's how you ink up an embossing folder. And if you have a, a sponge brayer, that works too. Um, Just what if you're if you're planning on altering it at all, don't press down because it'll go down into the holes. 
So that's what happened to the first one is it got down into the holes and then you get complete color coverage where this one, it's just okay. on the, on the sticking up part. So when I did it, I did it on the side that has the label on it, which is usually the front side. And the way you can tell is the back is bumpy. So B is B, the front is not bumpy. That's indented. This is not indented, this is outdented. <laughs> if that makes so any sense. So you put the ink on the front side. You put it on the indented side. So the parts down there. Right. Oh my, this is really difficult to show you. So where the, where the stars are. Yes. They're indented. So the ink doesn't go down into the holes. So that's where you end up with your white stars. Right, thank you. So there's an embossing folder that I really like to use and it's all evergreen trees. Yep. So this could work with that too if I put a couple of different colors of greens on the trees. Um, on you won't get, you won't get the trees colored. I would get the reverse colored, right? Right. So you could do like a, a blue background or something and then your trees would be white and look like a night scene. Yeah. Ooh, okay, nice. So this is the front. Wait. Yeah, this is the front. This one is really difficult because it's, it's kind of a weird embossing folder. So I'm not thinking that this is going to work very well. But the front always has the stamping up label on the front of it, right? 99% of the time, yes, but not always. Oh, okay. See, it's got this big area up here that has no embossing on it. And I'm thinking that... It might turn out nice. Looks good so far. I'm going to try it anyways, right? What do we got to lose? I'm going to try and keep it down where the trees are. So there you get the background is green and the trees are not so do that in blue and then you'd have white trees or black or black one or the other now I'm just going to go wash this and I'm going to ink the other side and show you the difference yeah, I was thinking like a uh, night of navy or something for the mm -hmm. background. And then if you put a bit of Wink of Stella on the trees, it will look like they're kind of sparkly in the night. They yes. would look like frost. Mm -hmm. If you splatter a little bit of white uh, ink on the where you had the blue or the black spot, it would look like stars. That'd be cool. Oh. Okay, so I did that side. I'll do this side as soon as I find what I did with it. Can you do <laughs> that side? And what did you suggest? In, what blue did you suggest? I would said um, Night of Navy. Because I think it's still current. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. <laughs> God forbid if they retire Knight of Navy will be screwed. They'll have a rebellion. Yeah, I think so.
Now remember, this is the other side that I'm inking up now. Here I am talking with me muted. That looks like fog coming through the trees at the moment. Mm. Okay. I now have Knight of Navy all over my fingers. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. I just don't want to touch anything. Okay. I guess the best response would be, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> so there. That's the, the reverse side. Now, these are indented because this is the, this is the side that is the embossed mm -hmm. side. This is the deboss side, but you know that looks really cool. Sure does. It does. So yes, you can do that technique with that embossing folder. Just make sure you have water nearby. Thank you. I think I like the suggestion of putting it on the other side, making the trees white and using the Knight of Navy for the background. And while you were washing it, it was suggested to put a little bit of white, was it paint? White? White ink splatter. Right. White And ink you suggested splatter? for stars, right? Uh, on the dark spot at the top, make it look like oh, stars. Oh, I see. Ah. Might actually make it look like it's snowing. Yeah. Oh. Put a little winky on the, the trees to give it a little bit of sparkle then. Yep. That'd be a cool Christmas card. Valerie said somebody embossed this and then dragged the ink pad over it a couple of times with different greens. Yes, they did. And it was absolutely gorgeous. So this is the other side of that one because that's the side you have to use it. Okay. Let's just use Old Olive. I haven't done this, so just doing the, the, if it doesn't work out, it's not my fault thing. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Oh. This is the part that I love the most about these nights is learning the tricks that other people have already had and done. And mm -hmm. I'm the same, Holly, but this is fun. Yeah. Well, the whole evening's fun. Oh, but. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. So awesome. that's yeah. old olive. And then I think they used a little bit of evening evergreen as well. This is difficult because it's curving. And I don't want to push down as hard as I did with the old olive. Whoops, and then I missed a whole swatch in the middle. Uh oh. Oh well. We'll just fake it, right? Oh. Wow. Isn't that cool? Beautiful. Yes. That looks like you're walking into a forest now. It's a little bit more up here in this unembossed area. Maybe a little bit more down here. Yep, there you go. Stunning. Very neat. Looks kind of cool. Now, thank you so much for doing that. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Are you still with me? Because 
I'm going to play now. <laughs> Keep on playing. I just have to mute because I'm going to get ice out of my fridge. Marilyn, this is for you. <laughs> so that was white craft ink, pigment ink. And I'm just adding a bit of water to thin it out a bit. Now, what can I use? Oh, if I wreck it, I wreck it. It's, uh, it's not doing what we had hoped. Instead of flicking it, if you tapped it, would it work? Maybe. Hey, you need a toothbrush. Need a toothbrush. Yeah. I need a toothbrush. <laughs> there goes her, her husband's toothbrush now. <laughs> One that I I clean um, stamps with. Now, what am I doing with the toothbrush? Water your paint like you did. Make it runny. Oh. Perfect. Now uh -huh. dip, your, dip your toothbrush in it. Now flick uh -huh. your flick your fingers through it. Like run I gotta your touch this? Yep, run your thumb along it. <laughs> oh my God. This is like touching a frog to me. From the top to the bottom, but you can do it that way. That just looks backwards to me. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't. How am I gonna do this? You do it with, the same, with your right hand. You do it all at once. Like this? You got it. Should put Wayne Costello in here. But see, it works, doesn't it? Ooh. Ooh. Can you guys mm -hmm. see? Yep. Can you Look, see? Looks good. Looks like it's snowing. Well, yeah. look at my finger. Sorry. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> ah, you're just saying that. And more important, you love us. Absolutely. That's right. <laughs> and you always keep telling us. It's good to work outside our comfort zone oh, once this in a is, while. Eh, you're right. It is. So I'm going to see if I can get some stuff out of here. Oh, I see Ooh. it dripping. Ooh. Hey, now I'm going to be forever trying to get that back into shape. <laughs> Take me forever to clean this. Oh yeah, that adds a beautiful little shimmer. <laughs> there we are. There's our Christmas card. Looks good. It I would play a little bit more with the ink. But the two greens look good together instead of just having it as one. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. Would gold Santa and his reindeer work on that, or is that too much? I said um, he was just flying through. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have to clean some stuff out of here. Hang on. Okay. My finger is, <laughs> has an issue, we'll put it that way. Hang on, I gotta go wash my hands, I'll be right back. <laughs> She must have water pretty close. She's never gone very long. Right across but, the hallway. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's always in hearing distance anyway. Yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, it's starting to rain here. Got heavy rain on my skylight right now. Nice. We had about 10 and a half drops today. Oh. That's not a lot. Not enough to do nothing for nothing. It's really starting to come down. What color am I doing the Santa and the reindeer in? Silver. Because you can. Silver. You want bright silver, blush, brush silver, or black silver? Ooh. Too many choices for me. Well, you know, we got this new brush silver paper in the new catalog. So there's this one and that one and that one. So mm. there's a bright one, a black one, and a gray one. Hmm. Or Take. there's the bright, the usual silver, the bright, bright one. Valerie says black as it is night. Oh, very smart, Valerie. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. Okay, Shama sent me pictures. What did she send me pictures of? Oh, she was playing with, hang on, Shanna was watching and she was playing with the stamps. Oh, There's one of hers. Very nice. nice. Oh, Lovely. very nice. And there's the other one. Mm. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. Awesome cards, Shanna. Okay, so I need to cut a piece that is uh, one inch by three and a quarter inch. Because all I want is the this part. I don't need this whole that whole part. So we'll just put that right there. And use a little bit of something to hold it in place till I get it where it's going. Okay. Glenda, you had mentioned about those post-it notes that had adhesive on all of it, but a tiny little strip to peel off the pad. Yep. Where did you get them? Walmart. Oh, okay. I was looking the other day for them, and when I was at Staples, the young man gave me they're called extreme notes by post-it and they're for waterproof. Yes, I and have I those. That would be good for doing the um, sponging technique where you have different patterns, shapes on, you know? Yep. Or sections that's, on the card. That's what I use to hold my things in place because they're a little bit more durable than the other ones. Are these extreme ones? The waterproof ones, yeah. Oh, really? Okay. I ordered them in by mistake. It was a happy accident. Yeah. Okay, there's that. You'd almost think I'd done this a time or two, eh? <laughs> Well, I think sometimes fussy cutting is your forte. <laughs> I don't know if it's the lighting, but it's almost too busy behind it. Yeah, I agree with you. So it's like too dark um, in the lighting for me. Yeah, I he's just, just lost it's... in the trees, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, it's too much. I think if we ha if I had done it up further, so that there was some of the non embossed 
part up there, it would have been all right. Yeah. But yeah. Can you just flip them over for a minute, so I can, please? What am I flipping over? Santa, just so we can see the back side. Not to use it, but just to see if he was lighter. If he... Yeah. Still too busy. Going the yeah. other way. No, you're right. It is still too busy. For me, anyways. Mm -hmm. Me too. But at least you get to see Santa and how he was cut. Mm -hmm. You could put the first reindeer in, get rid of everything else, and give him a red nose. <laughs> Just on the uh, very, very end. I think, <laughs> I think what the issue is, is the trees are big and he's not. Yeah, yeah. That's, something's wrong. It's just, it's not proportional to each other. I was just looking for something that could make it more Christmassy looking. Stars on the trees. Even if you had even less of the trees and more of the plain top, that would look good. Yeah. Like go higher up on the folder? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Of course, the I have ink on my folder. <laughs> like have just these little bits of trees. Right. Mm -hmm. But then, but then you're going to have the issue of how are you going to get that inked yeah. so that it looks half decent because it will be really blotchy. But if you did use the blending brushes and blended it, wouldn't that help soften it? Where am I, where would you use them on the embossing folder? Or afterwards? Maybe afterwards, I don't know. I've never done the ink on the embossing folder, so I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I don't think a blending brush would work because you'd get brush marks. Okay. Right. So see, what if see, the you would get the brush marks on there can you see no oh yeah you can't. you can't see but see how you would get the brush marks with a blending brush but no i was thinking those are blending brushes oh, that you, oh, uh, well, hello you know those other things i get you now do you think that would help soften it maybe i don't know let me clean my blending brush blender pen this is what this is hello see i haven't done this for a while I think it's time to fill my blender pens awfully dry. There's that. Now do I have you mean one of these? Yeah. The other blender pen. <laughs> <laughs> you still you still get a um the marks and yeah it's going to go down, like if you do it on this side, so you have white, have the trees that are white to do the dragging thing. Um, it's not going to do the sky properly. Oh, okay. I just that looks like an would... island coming out of the mist. Yeah. Because this is dented in and you're going over top with the, the ink, I'm coloring the trees too. So that yeah. would be a good idea, but not. Sorry, that won't work. So trying to get me like on, on the card there that you started, the big tree on the left kind of, right. What um, somebody mentioned like maybe a star. What if we put a star on the top of that and then I just put a few different colored of embellishments to make it look like a Christmas tree. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. the one tree. Just yeah, the one tree cool. and focus mm -hmm. on it. Yep. yep. Agreed. It would also bring it up to the front more. Yep. And just it make would. it like, you know, there must be some type of star that we could put on. Like, I'm sure I've got something we must. We used to have stars, but they're not in this catalog now. Oh, right. But and then, we you know, just tell. Hmm. Yeah, because then know. that would to me would say Christmas. So if I just took the one tree, then yeah. Um, anybody got any other ideas? 
Yes, they're beautiful, Glenda. My poor fingers. I can't <laughs> touch anything. Um, there, we don't have any stars at all in this catalog, do we? I don't know. Oh, huh, I thought I saw something. Maybe there were snowflakes I saw. Cute stars, adhesive back sequence, page 51. There they are. But they're um, Halloween colors. Yeah, but the orange would look good. Highland Heather Pumpkin Pie and Shimmery Black. Now, if they are the, the typical um, sequins, the plasticky ones, you could probably color them. In the annual catalog, we on page 143, we have shaker shapes. And there's um, pink hearts, yellow stars, and green circles. But that's the only thing. By the what, page, what page, Marilyn? 143 in the annual catalog. Oh, shaker shapes. Aha. Uh -huh. These ones. Yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah, and they're um, daffodil delight, so that would work. Well, even the granny green um, little circles. You could make them look like uh, ornaments. For sure. Yep. Well, they, these, if you wanted them gold, you could probably Versamark them and emboss them in gold embossing powder. Oh, yeah. Or just paint um, maybe the bumblebee uh, blender pen to make them a little darker. Yep. Lots of ideas. I was so glad when they came out with those other stars that we had. They were kind of coppery gold looking. Yeah. I was so, so hoping they carried them forward, but they didn't. They didn't, no. All righty, ladies, two and a half hours enough. Mm -hmm. There are star dyes in the stars are shining bundle. Oh. Yeah, you might you star dies. Somebody's star being dies. really smart. That was Valerie. Way to go, Val. Stars are shining bundle. Okay, find the stars are shining bundle. Where? 14. Whoops, then I passed it. That's them. That's a punch. Yeah, that's them right there. And you could do those out of any color you want to. Gold shimmer paper. Ooh, gold, gold shimmer paper. Ooh. That'd be pretty. <laughs> Thanks, Valerie. Good idea. Thanks, guys. And Valerie said, put some Rudolph's poop on some of the trees. <laughs> <laughs> and then just put his hind legs going out of the picture. Uh -huh. <laughs> Trail of poop behind him. It's too bad he wasn't bigger, because I think if he was bigger, it would look better. Yeah. But there is a deer in the mini catalog. Yes. Peaceful deer. In, the in a punch. Yes. This Did he dude. Be too big, I wonder. This dude. Ooh. Oh yeah. It's hard to show you guys the there. He's looking back, isn't he? Yeah. At his poop. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can have him at the right top corner, and he's looking back like, "Where's everybody else?" Well, I like the idea of him looking back through a, a spray of his poop, and then put the little tag going, "Did I do that?" <laughs> poop happens. Oh, that's a good one. Poop happens. 
Oh yeah. He's a little too big. Yep. Yep. But if you had him down at the bottom right corner then? But he still looks like he's galloping away, doesn't he? Yeah, he looks lost. Yeah. He's been smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been smoking weed. <laughs> I didn't even have a glass of wine with my dinner tonight. <laughs> what? No. Ah! I just had another one. If we use the moose uh, punch, which we probably don't have anymore, but if we had that, he the moose would be too big for the picture, wouldn't he? Yes. Mm, yeah. He's about the size of this deer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put that there. Put this here. There we go. He's running away from Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> and put a red rhinestone on his nose and there we go. <laughs> but those those stars in that star punch would work really good. Oh, excuse me. This is still wet. Do you know what? I like your time. idea if you were going to do another Christmas card of using that deer from that punch and giving him a red nose and he would look like a Rudolph on a on a different card. Mm -hmm. Yep. He would. I just happen to have <laughs> on my table my red rhinestones. Because I haven't put them on my card yet. I want to come see your crafting room. Everything's just within hand's reach. Oh, oh, be ready wait, to dude. be wait. ready to drool. <laughs> that oh, is he's sweet. so perfect. cute. Yes. And the thing I like about doing it and this punch is, if you don't like him going that way, you just put his nose on this one and have him going this way. Mm -hmm. Which you can't do with a die. No. So sweet. <laughs> There we go. Rudolph is running away from Santa. Now, if I cut this, because I'm not going to use it anyways, and just cut this, put Santa up here, put Rudolph down there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh. Rudolph is running away. We're getting silly now. <laughs> I think I'm going to go back to the tree idea with the star cutouts. Mm -hmm. Good idea. <laughs> well, ladies, I'm going to say good night. I'm dropping off. It's been I a slice. Agree. It's been a slice. Thanks for the laughs. You're welcome. Thanks good. for joining everybody. <laughs> and goodbye to everybody over there on Facebook. I'm going to stop the live feed now. And I hope I just catch me again soon sometime. Bye. Bye.